Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast. Today is Thursday, August 25th, 2016. I'm Fredicia Leibert. Now for the local news in detail. And that is why we are here to uh, let the general public know that we have begun the restoration of this building so that it can be livable again. And uh, for those persons who are about my age or a little older, many of you would recall coming here to the grounds of the uh, government house for tea parties, for cocktails and other official engagement and we want to get back to those days. Now we're going to maintain the general uh, look of the building. We're not changing the structure in any way. We're enhancing what we have here and maintaining that colonial look and we know how uh, proud persons are of the architecture of this particular building and we want to maintain that and ensure that we are consistent with the history of Nevis. Minister of Communications and Works in the Nevis Island Administration, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, speaking about the ongoing plans to refurbish Government House at Bellevue. Minister Jeffers outlined the aim of the project. It will be livable again. It will be a place where persons can come and visit, meaning our visitors or locals can feel proud again of this particular um, property. And we know that the view from here, it is an astounding view looking over, overlooking Charlestown and also right into Bastyr. So we are hoping to uh, rekindle all those uh, good attributes that we associate with this particular um, building. The government house restoration project, according to Minister Jeffers, is expected to last an estimated eight months. The total cost of the project is $1.6 million. Athletes who live in the vicinity of the VOJN Primary School playfield will no longer have to venture outside of their community to practice their various sports at evenings. This as the Nevis Island Administration has embarked on a project to have the field better lit. We're going to have uh, four poles that will be erected. Each pole will have uh, eight lights on each pole, so that's a total of 32 lights. Those lights will be 1500 watts, uh, so that is um, some intensity and that would create the type of lighting that would be needed here to play the various sports in the evening. Area representative, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, notes that the facility has also become the home of the community's sports club. We have had a situation in the past where the, the main club from this area, the Highlights International Sports Club, they would have had to journey to Cotton Ground to practice. Uh, both in football and cricket and also whatever practice matches that they, they would play they are being played there in the evening. Not only the Highlights International will benefit from this the entire community on a whole because there are persons who would come here in the evening to exercise whether jog, whether to do some stretching that type of thing and the lighting was uh, completely inadequate that was here before since they had just about eight lights here um, over the past couple of years. So now with this work, we are hoping that we'll have much more activity on this field. Uh, this, I'm sure, would lead to the overall improvement of the club structure here and bring more young people along in terms of getting um, more interested or developing that interest for cricket and football. Minister Jeffers is hopeful that the enhanced facility would also lead to the overall improvement of the Highlights Club structure. The plans are being drawn up for the pavilion, which is at the back of us here. So we are getting those drawings in place and we should be selecting a contractor shortly to complete the pavilion. I will also go on further to say that this will certainly uh, be ready in terms of lighting for the next sports day that is held here at the VOJ in, uh, Primary School. Um, most times you have activities that go down beyond 6 o'clock, so at least we'll have some light in here to keep persons here and to uh, enjoy the ambience as we'll do our very best to ensure that it is brought up to par and the conditions are, uh, if not international, close to international when it's all said and done. Minister, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers. The entire management team of the Park Hyatt Hotel currently being constructed on the Southeast Peninsula on St. Kitts hosted an information session today at the St. Paul's Anglican Church Hall. We have more in this report by Huey Sargent. We're over here today on an information day just to share information about the property that's opening early next year and obviously to share with the community the opportunities that will become available as part of that opening. 
Okay, and uh, what time next year are we expecting the, the Park Hyatt to be open and can you give us some dimensions in terms of the property and, and so on? Most certainly, most certainly. We're looking at opening the hotel around March. The hotel itself is 126 rooms. There's 78 suites in that count. We also have three full restaurants. We have a seafood restaurant, a main dining room, and then a couples only restaurant, which is food to share. So that's really about encouraging that couples experience. We also have a fully equipped nine treatment room spa that offers Watsu therapy. We also have a kids club. And the way that the resort is laid out is multiple buildings spread over a wide area to create the feeling of a traditional plantation estate. Okay, and, and can you give us some background on about um, the Park Hyatt organization itself? Well, Park Hyatt is a brand that only has about 30 hotels, 30 plus hotels globally. It's a signature group that is the premium product of the, of the Hyatt brand global. And also we promote a philosophy that we care for people so they can be their best. The important thing in that message, of course, is about making sure that regardless of who the person is, whether it's our guests, whether it's our team, whether it's a supplier or whether it's our owner, we always work in the best interest of those people. So what it does is it creates a very healthy environment where people work together towards a shared goal. Okay, and uh, in terms of what you're going to be talking about today, um, can you tell us like some of the, well, just give us a range of, of persons that you may be looking for to work at, at Park Hyatt? Absolutely. Well, what we've done today is we've actually brought across our entire executive team. So what we're doing is we're making available to any of the people coming along the full resources of the hotel. We'll have someone speaking to the food and beverage product. We'll have someone speaking with regard to engineering. We'll have someone speaking with regard to the rooms product of the hotel, sales and marketing, awareness. And also the, the goal, fortunately over here on Nevis, because you've had the Four Seasons now for 25 years, which is a significant milestone in, it, in itself. The, the industry over here is aware of the segmentation of a hotel. They know what the different roles are, the different jobs are. Mm -hmm. So we actually, we'll refresh that anyway, just to reinstate. But also it's really, the key is introducing the different philosophies of our brand. Mm -hmm. Because again, it's not even a competition. The, the beauty is Four Seasons has a very established market here. We're looking to establish a similar market over on St. Kitts, so that really the two islands can work even more closely together to build that luxury market for the destination and the Federation as a whole. Thanks, Huey. Still to come... So we've always dreamt about, first of all, making a Wali uh, carbon-free, so in other words, you know, producing all our own electricity. The details after this break. Welcome to Nevis. It's easy to believe that all Caribbean islands are the same, until you visit Nevis. Nevis is the Caribbean of a bygone era. You will enjoy a most intimate vacation on Nevis. You're only a stranger here once. We offer exclusive and barefoot luxury stays. With only 400 hotel rooms, our island may be exclusive. But the warm, genuine and friendly welcome is just everywhere. We look forward to meeting you. Visit nevisisland.com. Welcome back. Nevis's Oli Beach Resort has been recognized by Caribbean Export Development Agency as a success story. Caribbean Export, which supports business across the Caribbean, on August 10th focused on Oli Beach Resort as one of the most environmentally friendly in the Caribbean. The resort was introduced to Caribbean Export by the St. Kitts and Nevis Chamber of Industry and Commerce. We, we put forward a, a grant proposal for putting in 18 uh, kilowatts of, of uh, solar pho you know, photovoltaic panels. So that's actually 72 panels and we install them on the, on the restaurant roof. That probably takes care of all our electricity needs in the restaurant in the daytime. John Yawood is Wally Beach Resort's Managing Director while Shari Greaves is responsible for the Resort's Accounts Department. Because of the renewable energy project that we have undertaken, we have seen a reduction in the cost of operating. This has gone down by approximately 15%, which has enabled us to point those resources in other places so that we are able to maximize guest satisfaction here at Owali Beach Resort. So going green, going completely green, 
is something that we here at Awali Beach are committed to and we will be able to be the first completely 100% green hotel in the world. Awali Beach Resort is the only property in St. Kitts and Nevis that has been globally recognized by Green Globe, the global certification for sustainable tourism. Membership is reserved for companies and organizations who are committed to making positive contributions to people and the planet. We, we decided we were greener than Green Globe and we've done, done lots of other conservation uh, situations and not just physical stuff like water conservation, electricity conservation, but also social, uh, getting involved with the community and with music and culture, uh, which is also a really important part of conservation. We want to appeal to the people who like the whole idea that we're involved in conservation, like to feel that they, they, their carbon footprint coming down on vacation by, by jet is lessened by the fact that they're staying at a, a, a resort that's making its own energy from the sun. TripAdvisor recently awarded us the, the, the top status in terms of being a, a green leader uh, in, in the industry. So now that you know that we're a, a wonderful internationally recognized green hotel, come down and enjoy this beautiful place with us. And finally, the Nevisian public will be given an opportunity to hear from the Nevis Island Administration this evening at the first in a series of town hall meetings. Tonight's town hall meeting, which is set for 7.30 p.m. at the Franklin Brown Community Center in Camps, will also be broadcast live on Nevis Television NTV8 and streamed live via nevistvonline.com. The schedule for subsequent meetings will be announced at a later date. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Lybird. Thank you for viewing.